Yeah, um, um, it's about the script and our thoughts. Um, on one hand, we have the ego's script, so it's already written. Um, and then we have our thoughts that are created. And then we have what is sometimes called uh, the Holy Spirit script. So I, so I wonder, what is the difference between, if I'm in a situation, um, how do I know it's the script? And, and, how, and, and if my thoughts are creating, how do I know it's not my thoughts that have created the situation? Okay. Well, first of all, the thoughts that we think with God are creative because God is creative and God bestowed creative ability to Christ. And the Course says Christ has creations with a small c. So our creative thoughts are, are purely spiritual. They have no form component whatsoever. So anything that involves perception does not involve creation. So that's one thing to remember. Just like last night with the movie when they go into the light, the light is completely different than the perceptual world. The light has to just kind of almost absorb some memories of some characters in the main character's dream to even communicate with him because the light is just the light, just pure love and wisdom and understanding. So then you talked about the script of the world and that's the ego script. The ego has invented the linear cosmos, the linear world and it's all the past and as we said last night, um, as long as the mind is invested in the past and wants to hold on to the past, it seems to repeat kind of like the movie Groundhog Day with Bill Murray. It's a movie where he keeps going through the same day over and over and you might say that that's exactly what Jesus told Helen Schuckman that he said history would not even exist if you didn't keep repeating the same mistake in the present. So he's, he's talking about this generated history, and this generated linear cosmos. It's all about repeating the error. It's repeating the, the loop. It's just looping and looping and looping, seemingly in different forms. And you can even seem to believe that the future has not yet happened and that the past has, but it's still the loop. Uh, that's what's going on. And then you hear the phrase, you've mentioned the phrase, the Holy Spirit script, and other teachers of the Course will bring this up, but you will never hear me talk about the Holy Spirit script, because there isn't one. Uh, the Holy Spirit knows that time is simultaneous, and the Holy Spirit knows that time is not linear. And a script, whether you're talking about a script for a movie, or a screenplay, or any kind of script, it's, it's a linear construct. And Jesus does mention the script, in, in the workbook of the Course. He says the script is written. And the emphasis is on the last word, written, meaning the script is past tense. It's all written. It's already, it's all the past. And that's what all the workbook lessons are aimed at, is helping you, uh, like lesson number seven, I see only the past. <coughs> lesson number eight from the workbook, my, my mind is preoccupied with past thoughts. Uh, my thoughts are images I have made. He, he will, he's building a case to show the mind that's sleeping and dreaming, that it's watching a past script and it's totally lost awareness of the present moment, it's lost awareness of God. It's addicted to the past. And it's, it's addicted to the script. It believes that the script is actually still happening, not that it's over and done. It's just, it believes it's just in the middle of it. And so that's very different. Now the Holy Spirit sees the world and time as simultaneous. And there is no script in simultaneity. Simultaneous means at the same time. And I've done a talk on the internet where I talk about this, I think I was in Sweden, where were we? Armland. Where we had, I, had, I asked him to get a spaghetti stick out for me and I, I held the spaghetti stick out and I was even tapping on the camera and having fun with the spaghetti stick, but I said this spaghetti stick is like the ego script, it's very linear. But if you turn the, the stick around and you look right down like this, you see that it's actually a point. That's what the Holy Spirit perceives. 
the Holy Spirit sees time as simultaneous, so the Holy Spirit doesn't see the world the way the human being does. You know, the human being may say, okay, I, I need uh, money to pay my bill, Holy Spirit, you know, next Friday. Well, it's just, it, the Holy Spirit is, is helping the mind release all those thoughts and beliefs, those egoic thoughts, to come back and see the world in a simultaneous way. So, it's not so much a script, but you might say, it is another way of looking at the world. And that's what all this mind training is about. Yeah, so, so, what, so what, what we can do is to, to choose how to experience what's coming to us. And in that way, it could be different. In that aspect, it could be different versions. Versions of what? I mean, if I am reacting, reacting if I am handling whatever, like this or like that. I mean, I can, I'm always choosing how I experience, but it could be knowingly or unknowingly. Yeah, we would say so, knowingly would be with the spirit, yeah. and unknowingly yeah. would be with the ego. Mm -hmm. And really that's, that's just the choice that remains, is in the mind. Yeah. Which, which guide will I follow? Uh -huh. Which way will I look at the world? But in that way, the situations could come out differently. No, they can't. They can be perceived differently. Yeah, yeah, but, okay. But they can't, there, can, there is no change in, in outcome. It's kind of like uh, quantum physics, you know, when people have studied science and physics and Newtonian physics, once they get into quantum, it's almost like, oh, I've just got to relearn absolutely everything. Or when people get into Christianity and they say, oh, this is what Christianity teaches, now they get into the Course, okay, there's a lot of unlearning. I have to unlearn most all of Christianity in order to get into the Christ. It's kind of fascinating to think that you have to unlearn Christianity Get into the Christ. Are we recording this? I think this, I'm going to be even more popular now. <laughs> uh, but, but basically, it's the same with science. You know, we have to unlearn Newtonian uh, science in order to make way for quantum, which is that there, there is no world apart from what you think. There is no world apart from consciousness. Uh, no two people, as I said in the, the little uh, show last night, no two people see the same world. Uh, first of all, there are no two people. <laughs> That's one problem with two people seeing different worlds. But actually, you start to see that, that in the quantum world, you just perceive the world based on what you have in your consciousness or what you believe. And there really aren't different perspectives of the dream. They're all false, and they're all just one false perspective, which is what the ego is. It seems like there's multiple egos, and that each ego has invented a different world, and that's even a trick, because there's really just one. It's always simpler than, than the mind can imagine. It comes down to just seeing the false as false. So, it's beautiful that, that once you start to realize that there are no hypotheticals, that things could not be different than they appear, then that changes everything right there. But there's not options, uh, even though in common human language we'll talk about options, yes. even though that's not really possible. May I share something? Because I want to tell myself this. Because I, I woke up this morning and I had an experience of what time is for me. And. Uh, It's something I make up. I do it with that separation thought. And it acts out. And I can take you as an example of that for me. Because when I met you, David, I saw, I felt something. It was the truth. And at the same time, the separation thought was lit up in me. So very strong, and then you have been a symbol for me that you have come like a, like a planet or an orbit. You are coming, <laughs> and then you are coming again, and I, I, made this, I met this separation every time in different ways, and it has been a process ever since this came into my mind. 
It has been here. And you have been here. My family light. And I, I live with you in Utah. I live with you in Hawaii, in Australia. I'm there as much as I can, as much as I can stand it. And then you come again, and you have been talking about winding down. You have been frightening me ever <laughs> since 2009, you said. I'm winding down on my traveling, I'm winding down. <laughs> and then you have come again. Oh yes, one more time, one more time. <laughs> it just looks that way, really. <laughs> <laughs> and now this is a farewell tour. <laughs> and you are talking about ascension. And and this time I, 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 I feel something. The gap is closing in me. I'm so grateful, and it's like it's time speed up, because now I thought it was the last time in this summer, and then suddenly, very short time after coming again, and now with six people, so thank you. I'm so grateful that I'm not alone, and I'm joining. But yeah, just always remember, just think of me. And these videos will be available. <laughs> and this character is long gone <laughs> from, from it. And I won't miss any of you either, because I'm taking all of you with me. <laughs> uh, let's, once you see how this works in perception, you're, you are all with me. And, and it's all one mind, really, literally. So oftentimes people think, well, Eventually, I'll die and go somewhere else. Let me in on, I'll let you in on a little uh, bit of uh, wisdom. There is nowhere else. This is all, this is it. You know, you're getting used to the perception. You know, you've, you've been perceiving a world seemingly through the body, but it's not really, as I said, it's not coming through the body. You're perceiving the world with consciousness. You're using consciousness to perceive this world and and there will come a point where you'll be ready to let go of the judgments. And you'll be ready to let go of the, the grievances and those things. And, and you'll just have this big aha moment. Ah, 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 oh gosh. Ah. It, just, it just will dawn on you like, oh my gosh, so simple. So simple. It's so, so very, very, very simple. Yeah.